Welcome to Basic Embedded Systems Training. Today we will discuss about 8051 microcontroller internal memory organization. So 8051 microcontroller follows Harvard architecture. In Harvard architecture, the RAM and ROM both contain separate address and data buses. So simultaneously accessing is possible. That improves the reliability. 8051 microcontroller external supports 64 kilobytes ROM and 64 kilobytes RAM memory. Internal ROM is 4 kilobytes and internal RAM is 128 bytes. Actually, internal RAM, also called as ARM chip RAM, is 256 bytes. That is divided into lower 128 bytes and upper 128 bytes. Lower 128 bytes are available for user. Upper 128 bytes are available for special function registers. These lower 128 bytes are divided into uh, three portions. Uh, the first portion is called as a register bank. So here uh, it supports four register banks. Each register bank contains eight registers. Total 18 to 4, 32 registers are available. And next portion is bit addressable locations which supports 16 locations are bit addressable and remaining memory is available for general purpose higher 128 bytes or special higher 128 bytes or special function registers and stack also available on internal memory The first one is program memory that is also uh, internal memory and external program memory internal program memory is 4k external program memory is 64 kilobytes because 8051 microcontroller supports 16 bit address bus 2416 is 64k maximum it can able to address 64k locations only the program counter always points to the address of next executable instruction. But here internal memory is 4K. So that 4K indicates that uh, 4 zeros H to the 0 triple F H. So after that, it automatically enter into external program memory 1, Z, 1 triple zero H to maximum 4 F F H. So that indicates that uh, if you select the internal program memory, which access internal 4K and access external 60K, then total 64K is accessed. And if you select external memory, so that access 64K external memory only, okay? This internal memory or external memory can be selected by using one signal. That signal is called as a EA bar, external access. It is active low signal. If it is zero, then external memory is supported. If it is one, internal memory is supported. If you select internal memory, the internal memory is 4K internal memory and 60K external memory. Totally, it can access 64K internal plus external memory. And if you select external memory, so which access only which supports only external 64K memory. So that is about program memory. And next, data memory. So internal data memory is 256 bytes. So, so that is divided into two portions. First portion is nothing but uh, lower 128 bytes. Uh, and second portion is nothing but upper 128 bytes. And that is reserved for special function registers. This special function registers can access by using direct addressing only. And these 128 lower bytes can be accessed direct and indirect addressing memory. And external memory is 64K RAM supported. So this internal memory or external memory is selected with the help of EA bar signal. If EA bar signal equal to zero, external RAM is uh, selecting. If EA bar equal to one internal RAM selected. Already we discussed that this internal 128 bytes are divided into three groups. The first group is called as a register bank group. 
so which supports four registered banks rb0 rb1 rb2 rb3 rb0 contains eight memory locations that is r02 r7 rb1 also contains eight memory location r02 r7 rb2 also contains eight memory locations r02 r7 yeah, rb3 also contains eight memory locations r02 r7 total four banks each bank contains eight registers so or eight memory locations so eight into four 32 memory locations are occupied by these registered banks starting with the zero h and ending with the one f h and one more point here stack point uh, default points to the address of r7 in register bank zero so next portion is bit addressable memory so from 20h to 2fh total 16 bytes are bit addressable and 30 to 7f is general purpose ram what are the advantages of this bit addressable ram so individually you can access bits you can perform set operation, clear operation, logical under operation, logical oper uh, or operations with a single instruction. And 8051 microcontroller supports bit addressable ports. So that indicates that all ports are bit addressable. So you can access directly uh, each and every IO pin. So 8051 total supports 210 bit addressable locations. In this 210 bit addressable locations, 128 of these locations are at address 20H2 to FH. And the rest of remaining are in special function registers. 8051 supports uh, total 11 special function registers as bit as well as byte addressable. So that registers are accumulator b register instruction point interrupt enable and next one is it is not a instruction point interrupt priority interrupt enable timer control serial control program status word port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 for example if output lines port 0, 0.0 through 0 0.7 all are clear and you want to turn on the port 0, 0.0 output line you may either execute one instruction is move port 0 comma hash 0 1 h here we required only port 0, 0.0 but we are passing seven zeros one in binary 0 1 h in hexadecimal value to the port 0 so that indicates that the remaining seven bits also initialized with zeros. So here for one IO, so we pass total eight values. And the address of port zero is 80H, so that directly you can set B, right? Set B 80H. 80H is nothing but port zero address starting location zero so that directly you can set with the help of their address. Otherwise you can set with the help of this instruction, set bit port 0, 0.0. So here in last instruction, last two instructions, we set or clear only port 0, 0.0, not disturb the remaining pins. That is powerful feature supported by 8051 microcon so that is about internal and external memory organization of 8051 microcontroller